welcome viewers to another video on SOG12 mathematics. Our goal is to ensure that you get a distinction and we encourage you to aim for 100% because it is possible in mathematics. So our question of interest today comes from SECO theorem and it comes from the 2018 mathematics paper 1 and the question leads. In the diagram below, O is the center of the circle. A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference. A, D produced meets the line from C at E such that C, D equals D, E, and the angle A, O, C equals 120 degrees. Calculate angle A, A, D, C, B, A, B, C, C, D, E, C. So, for you to follow along with me, let me just try to zoom in so that we're able to see what I will be doing. So, from the information that we've been given, what can we find? The first thing that we notice is we've been given the angle at the center. So, we need to find the angle at the circumference. Do we have any angle at the circumference? In this case, we have angle D, this angle, then we also have B, but angle D and the angle that we've been given at the center, they face in the same direction. So what that tells us, the angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center, or the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So in this case, if this is 120, then the angle D, because they're facing the same direction, should be half of 120. So in this case, this is 16. Then, what we know is, this is a straight line. And this is straight line adds up to 180. So if we know uh, this angle which is 60, then what remains is basically 180 minus 60. So this is 120 degrees. Then, because these two sides are equal in triangle CDE, what it means, this triangle is an isosceles triangle, and two angles are equal. In this case, it's this angle and this angle. Then, if this angle is 120, what it means is we have this angle X and this angle X because they are the same. It's an isosceles triangle which has two sides which are equal. So X plus X, we have 2X. Then plus 120, this must give us 180. Then we have 2X equals 118 minus 120. When this one crosses, the equal sign becomes a negative. We remain with 60. Then we divide by 2, we divide by 2, so x is equal to basically 30. So, angle x, the two x's, each one is 30 degrees. Then, what else can we find? So, we can find this angle, which is here, because a complete circle is 360. So, if you take away what we know from 360, we take away 120, we remain with 0, 4, 240. So this angle is basically 240 degrees. Then this angle and this angle, they are facing the same direction. So the angle which is 240 at the center should be twice the angle at the circumference. So to find the angle at the circumference, we just divide this 240 by 2. We end up with 120 degrees. Then we look around. Is there anything that we can find? In this case, probably not much. So, alternative to find this angle 120, we could have also used the supplementary property where we are saying the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral they are supplementary in the sense that they add up to 180. So, we could have taken this 60 from 180, we could have arrived at 120. Okay. So we've done the best that we can do. So let us look at uh, the question. So the question is angle A, D, C. So angle A, D, C. So it's this one, 60 degrees that we already found. Then angle A, B, C. Angle from A to B then C is 120 degrees. Then angle D, E, C. Angle D, 
DEC. So it's this angle we are looking at DEC, which is the X. We, we found X to be 30 degrees. So 30 degrees. So basically, this is how you get the four marks as quick as that. So we had to answer all the angles, the possible that we can for you to have a better appreciation on what is going on. So for more interesting videos, please check on our YouTube channel.